All right, give me your first name and how old are you? Um, Sienna, and I'm 24 years old. And how long have you been at Shalom? Um, two and a half months. And what was your addiction? Uh, meth and fanna. Meth and fanna. How old were you when you first started using drugs? 14. 14? Yeah, what sort of effect did the drugs have on you? Um, I'll give me a couple of examples, like, uh, yeah. at the worst. So, at my worst, I lost my family. I was stuck in places that I didn't want to be. Um, the wrong crowd. And eventually lost my kids. How many kids have you got? I've got three. And, and how old are they? Um, I've got a three-year-old and two-year-old twins. Uh, what happened to get them to be, were they taken off you or? Um, when I was pregnant, DCP come and got involved with my first one and then my twins, their dad, um, yeah, kind of intervened and took them away. Um, uh, what effect did that have on you? Um, it, yeah, destroyed my life, yeah. I just, at the time I thought I didn't know what to do. It took me a couple of months, but I ended up here, yeah. Well, you just kept smashing the drugs, did you? Yeah. Um, we've got a few like really uh, bad examples or examples of what the meth did to you. Um, lost a lot of weight. I was in um, hospital because I was really sick. Um, yeah, broken bones, but that, yeah. What was the broken bones from? From the people I was surrounded by. Okay, yeah. violence and stuff. Yeah, yeah. And um, did you ever get psychosis? Yeah, I did, yeah. I was in um, Bentley adolescent thing when I was, I think, 17. You got put in a nut ward? Yeah. How long were you in a nut ward? A um, couple of months and I ran away. A couple of months? Yeah. Wow. What was that like? Um, I don't remember much. Yeah. We were just smashed out and drugs? Yeah, yeah. yeah. What was the finale? What was the, like, the big finale point that brought you into Shalom? Um, so my kids, my all my kids, kind of lost all my kids. I was up in Lehman, so a couple of hours away from Perth, away from my kids, away from everyone. And I had nothing, no one. And yeah, I just, I knew someone in Shalom and then I just thought I'd make a phone call. Okay, yeah. and um, so you've been here for two months? Yeah. Um, what changes have taken place the last couple of oh, months? A lot, yeah. I've, I've had contact with my kids, I've seen my kids, and my eldest has come into my care full time. So you've got one of your children in your program? Yeah. And the yeah. other two are? They're with their dad. And what else about you has changed, do you think? Um, everything. I'm a lot happier, I'm at peace. Um, I just feel like my days are just, I've got a purpose. Yeah? Yeah, yeah. Um, have you worked out what your root causes are or were? Um, yeah, so I, from what I've gathered, it's from my, my family. It started down when our parents were splitting up and then it's just gone up the line and I've just, yeah, hated everyone, angry to everyone, yeah. Childhood trauma? Yeah, childhood trauma, yeah. Um, angry at your parents splitting yeah. up and, and the fact that just went south from there? Yeah, cool, yeah. And what, you just used the drugs to cope, did you? Yeah, I think so, yeah. Um, yeah. What would you say the, um, the best and the worst thing about Islam? The best part? Oh, just every, I, I honestly can't fault it. Like, I really am really happy. I've never felt at home. And this is actually, like, i am got routine. Everything feels like I'm at home. Yeah, well, that's um, good. Yeah. And worst thing? Worst thing? Um, early wake-ups. I'm not an early person. I'm not a morning person, but I have started to be a morning person, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, it's not too bad. Well, you know, you're beautiful, you're gorgeous, you. and you're special. Thank you. I'm really proud of you. Thank you.